So an absorbing contest so far with Roy Webb, the much more experienced man, the Commonwealth Games silver medalist in the white vest with the broad dark stripe across the chest, not getting things uh, his own way against the very awkward crouching style of Stephen Hannan from the Oliver Plunkett Club in Belfast, but Webb that left hand just catching Hannah as he was going backwards, so he perhaps didn't get the full force of that. <laughs> Webb. Confident. Stop. And I think Paul Carson is just going to have a little look at the face of Stephen Hanna. He's got a cut on his nose and a cut on his cheek. Not allowed to box on and back into it with increased ferocity. Well, both men getting a word from Paul Carson about holding. Once again, the fight being halted temporarily. The reason you can see there's a cut on the nose. It looks not just like a little nick, but the wound which might require a certain bit of attention is the cut on the left cheek. And I think, folk, I think it's going to be stopped. Well, indeed it is. Well, it's been stopped just halfway through the second round. And since the fight has been stopped, and it is a final, of course, it's going to depend on which of the boxers was ahead on points at the time. The winner and Ulster senior featherweight champion for 1983 and holder of the Sayers Cup, Webb, in the right corner. So it's Roy Webb who adds the 1983 featherweight title to his previous three bantamweight victories.